Yo, what's up? Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video for my Webtoon template. Uh, it's a real simple file to use. It's just gonna be a really quick video on it. You'll be able to download the file from my Gumroad for free. Um, so check it out. If you want to give me a little bit more, that's cool by me. I ain't gonna say nothing. But yeah, you can get it for free. Use it. Check it out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Catch you guys later. Boosh. Okay, so we have this file, which has a couple layers. So I'll just go over those layers really quick. Um, this is where the art goes, hence art. These are the spacers. These are these colored boxes over here. Um, these are the guidelines that will work across any platform and you can just turn those on and off if you don't want them you can also if you're using Photoshop hit control colon and it'll pop up the actual Photoshop guides which I like a little bit better because it allows for snapping and stuff but if you don't have Photoshop you're using clip studio or something else this guide layer will work for you and then last is the info guide um, which just has some information in there about how to use it, um, where to find stuff, etc., etc. So we'll just leave that one hidden. So the first thing we do with this is, um, is I'll show you how to use the spacers. So I'm going to zoom in. Um, first, I guess I should say each of these columns is a self-contained column. Like just imagine a single column existing on its own. And the reason I do it like this is because it's such a long format on Webtoons, this gives me a, the ability to see the entire thing at once. Um, if I tried to just do it as a long file like this, I cannot tell what's going on, how things are working together. And this is what a final episode of Hacksaw looks like on Webtoons. So uh, not very useful. So that's why I do it like this because it gives me a little bit more visibility into it the entire thing. So zoom in and these are my spacers. This has helped me a lot um, to figure out because it's a infinite landscape. You kind of get lost in the massiveness of it. Um, like not size doesn't mean anything anymore. Like how do you explain size uh, when there is a lack of constraint? Um, so that's why I created the spacers to help me. So in the spacing directory, I have three different um, layers in here. So the first layer we'll talk about is the phone layer. Now what this box represents is what you will see like on an iPhone. Like this is how much artwork can fit on the screen. So for example, like this, um, if you were on a phone, you would be able to see all of that. Right, so if you're on the phone, you can see all those panels. Now the next one is the desktop. So this desktop, as you can see, it's much smaller because most of the times desktop screens are widescreen. Um, so this is all you can see, the, the orange to the orange. And so that's all you're gonna see on the thing. The reason why there's a yellow box in the middle is because I found that if you draw the artwork to fit in the entire um, orange box it is too big like when you look at it on the screen it fills up the entire screen and now while this might sound like a good thing the reason it's not it's kind of like when you sit too close to a tv you can't see it all like it's overwhelming almost so that's why i created the yellow box on the inside now i found that this is a pretty good size for people that are reading it on the computer using a monitor a standard monitor uh, this also gives you room um, for lettering, like here, right? If you want lettering, it gives room for the reader to see the dialogue and see the artwork at the same time, um, you know, which is, which is important to me. It might not be important to everybody, but that's what I like. Okay, and so that's what that box is. And then finally is the blue box, which is the panel spacer. So what this is for is to give a, a guide for how much room there should be 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 how much room there should be be between panels um and so you kind of know because at first i was guessing and i was spending a lot of time saying like this looks right that doesn't look right and it also caused like inconsistent spacing so that's why i created that panel 
And so I tend to use the PC template and the panel spacer together. And you can see I have the panel spacer knocked up to the, to the PC uh, template. And so I tend to move these uh, together. I don't use the phone template that much because it's so much bigger than the desktop size. I know if it's working in desktop, it's probably going to work on the phone. The reason why you might want to use this one is if you have um, a reveal panel and you don't want the reader to be able to see both panels at the same time, this will give you an idea of when the other panel will fall off the screen so they can't see it. So that might be when you want to use this. Or if you just want to write or draw specifically for the phone, you could use that as well. Um, but I'm still a desktop dude, so that's why I tend to go with this. So those are the panels on there, and I keep it in one directory. They're all locked by, um, you can't draw on them, but you can still move them. So I can still move this guy around like so. Um, if you open this in Clip Studio, Clip Studio does some weird stuff with like layer locks. Um, so you might have to go here and unlock the layers in Clip Studio. And so if you were to open this in Clip Studio, you could hit this little lock in their layer control and it should unlock it if you need to. But yeah, like I said, Clip does some weird stuff with Photoshop files. Um, also, if you do open this in Clip Studio, I would suggest saving it as a clip file um, just so it's more um, optimized to work in Clip Studio. Clip Studio is also gonna get rid of your Photoshop guidelines, so that's why you wanna keep that guide layer Okay, so, so let's get started, shall we? So the way you would use this, or the way I'm using it, is I move that up to the start of the file. I zoom in to where I pretty much just see the one column, because that's all I'm working with. And I will go to the art layer, shrink down my brush size. I usually go with like a five or a four. I found is like a good thickness for the brush and then just draw stuff in here um, and then the other thing I do also is I like to do my lettering at this point the reason I do this is one because it gets the lettering out of the way it also makes sure that the art artwork leaves enough room for the lettering um, and then also for me, I, because I'm drawing and writing, I don't have a hard, fast script. Um, I have an outline, and then I follow that outline, and I do my dialogue writing during this part of the process. Um, so that's why I do it all here. I used to do it afterwards, uh, but I found that I forgot what the panel was and what the character was supposed to say. Uh, so I started doing it this way just to cover my own butt. So, boom, first panel done, right? You grab the spacer layer, hit V, or click on the, the move tool up here, right? And then I hold shift down and I just drag. And then I put this, the blue spacer at the bottom of what the panel I just drew. And then that way it gives me an idea of how much room there should be between the panels. And then I can go ahead and click back on the art layer and draw my next panel. Like so, right? And just stay like that. And then good to go. And then basically, um, I just keep, keep moving down blue at the end of the other panel, go back to the other one and just going so on and so forth. And I just work my, all, my way all the way to the bottom Right, I get down to the bottom and depending on how big you decided it, like if you have an establishing shot, sometimes you can take up more room. Um, and like, I, I wanna make clear, like these aren't hard, fast sizings. These are guides to kind of help trap your brain a little bit so you don't get lost in the massiveness. Um, but if you wanna make a bigger panel or a smaller panel, you can do that. Um, there's nothing saying you can't. If you want more space between panels because you want a bigger reveal, you want to slow down the pacing, you can put them closer together if you want to speed things up. Um, these are just 
guides to kind of help you figure out stuff. Um, so once I get down to the bottom, this might end up in different spots. Like sometimes it might be here where your last panel was. You could be up here if you do like a big establishing shot. But once I get to the bottom, I bring this up to the next column and I usually put the blue right there at the top. And, and then I just move in and I start working on the next piece of art right here, like so. And just move on and keep going until you're done with this chapter and then you'll have an entire art layer filled up. Uh, the reason I keep the spacers layers locked is because I don't wanna draw on it. So that's why that's locked. Um, the other thing I like to do is before I go to the next column, I like to select all my dialogue and I group it. So Control-Z for Photoshop, or you can come up here to Layer and do Group Layers. And that will group all the text from the first column into a single group called Group 1. When you do the next one, it'll be Group 2, so it's very clear. Um, if you're in Clip Studio, you're gonna have to right-click and do like, I think it's Create New Group and Insert Layers. So you gotta select all the layers, like you have to do this and then right-click and then pick that option. There is no like Control Control G and Clip Studio. Um, and the reason I do that is for my next step of the process, I like to have the lettering contained in little groups because uh, it just makes it easier to move things around. And that's in a different video that I did for Webtoon also, which is on my YouTube channel. Um, so that's basically the nuts and bolts of, of how I do this process. Um, now you got to remember this is for your thumbnails and roughs. You can do finish art in this file if you want to. I wouldn't suggest it because it's at such a low resolution. It is at um, 6400 pixels wide. Now that sounds really big and it's at 300 dpi resolution. Um, and while that is a big file, when you break up each of these columns, each of these columns is 800 pixels wide, which is the the size restriction for Webtoon, and that's why each column is 800 pixels wide. So what I do, what I would do next after I'm done, I get the marquee tool. It's the selection tool up here, the box. Uh, you can hit M on Photoshop, um, depending on how you set up Clip Studio, um, or just select it up here in the corner. And then just select one column. And then I do a, a shift control C which is a copy merged in Photoshop. In Clip Studio, you would have to select all the layers you wanted and hit Control C, and that will copy all those layers. Clip Studio does some weird stuff. So once you get that copied, you wanna hit in Photoshop, Control N, which is a new file, or you can go up here to File New, um, and it's gonna keep the size of what you just selected and copied. So it creates that file, I paste it in there. And so now that what we drew for that one column is in a new file, and I'm gonna save this file as a new file. But before I do that, I'm gonna up res it. And we're gonna up res it to 3300 pixels wide. Keep the 300 DPI. The reason I go up to 3300 is because that is the size of 11 by 17 um, at 300 DPI. Um, and that's the size I use for traditional comic book pages. So if I'm drawing at that resolution, I know I can take any panel I draw and fit it on a 11 by 17 piece of paper without having to stretch it or enlarge it. If anything, I'm gonna have to shrink it, which is fine, um, but I don't have to increase the size and lose quality. So that's why I picked 3,300 pixels wide. Boom. So. Um, So we increased the size of that file. And it was just complaining about the, um, about the length of the file because once you go over 33,000, it, um, it, over 30,000, it'll no longer save into a JPEG file. So now that I have this file, um, and we're not gonna be saving it as a JPEG, you'll be saving it either as a Photoshop or a clip or whatever, uh, drawing program you're using file. So lower the opacity, create a new layer just like you would any other time, and then just start doing your 
your final artwork and you'll have to increase your brush size because now you're drawing at a higher resolution. Um, and there you go, and boom. Then you save this file and then you just rinse and repeat for each of these columns. Save each of these files as its own file, like underscore zero one, underscore zero two. And then you'll have high res files. And then of course, you're gonna have to take all these files, shrink them back down, like keep the 3300 one saved off to the side, but then you'll shrink it down to 800 DPI or 800 pixels wide um, to eventually put into a giant file like this. You could try to do keep it at 3300 pixels wide and put all the files together, but it's gonna slow your machine down unless you have some kind of freaking crazy supercomputer. Um, and so that's pretty much all there is to using this file. You will notice to um, this is the file I use when I am putting all of the files back together. And I've shown this in a different video, so you can check it out from that other video. Um, but this is a template too. I also have the exact same spacer in this file as I do in the thumbnail. So this blue spacer file is the exact same thing as this pink spacer file. And so when I'm copying and pasting for all my separate 01, 02, 03 files into this file, I can use this as just kind of a double check to see how far apart stuff is. And you can see here, I increased the amount of space um, just so I had room for the lettering. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my other Webtoon videos. Uh, here's my cat, um, Indy. Yes. Um, other than that, feel free to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, all the things. I also do Twitch um, where I'm drawing live. And if you wanted to ask any questions live, I'm more than happy to answer them on the stream um, and show you uh, while I'm doing it, if that helps you at all. So yeah, I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace.